Good morning, good morning, friend. I'm glad you're here today. We are about to start another super awesome vlog, and yes, it is still raining today. <laughs> so today I am going to install or replace uh, two toilets for a gal across town. So I just got done at Home Depot. I picked up a few things. I picked up some um, some uh, angle stop valves. I picked up some uh, some new lines, and then also some wax rings. And also, I just threw in this one here. This one says it's better than wax, so pick that up. I, I don't think I'm gonna need any of this because all of the new stuff comes with it, but I went ahead and picked up angle stops because you never know, sometimes those leak, so it's always important to, uh, it's always important to kind of be proactive, you know, so anything that you hit, uh, you are ready for. Um, some of this stuff I, I try and keep in my trailer, um, but I'm gonna run a little bit low on stock on those particular items. So right now we're heading across town, we're gonna uh, get this toilet installed, so uh, take you along with me, so let's go. First thing you want to do when you replace the toilet is obviously turn off the water. Simple angle stop. Then go ahead and drain your toilet. I usually like to drain everything out. Then I like to suck everything out with a wet dry vac. This is a Milwaukee M18. Suck it out of the, the tank and then the bowl as well. This is kind of dirty work, but you know, get over it. And once you get that removed, you're going to want to remove the uh, tank bolts or nuts in this case. Going to remove one on the left, one on the right. Sometimes there's a three bolt. This one is only two. And then remove your water line. A little bit of water will drip out when you do this, but not too much. Once you get that removed, then your tank is ready to be lifted off. And go ahead and remove the actual toilet bolts holding it down. One on the left, one on the right. Once you get those removed, obviously the toilet is ready to be lifted off. And got once you got the toilet out of there the next step is to remove your old wax ring and what I like using is just an old bag for this I know it's kind of a messy deal this is where everything flows through but you know you get over it it all washes off and then take a really close look at your bolts make sure they're in good order and this is uh, where the new style of toilet comes into play this is actually the new flange that comes with the toilet uh, I usually like putting the wax ring on the flange or on the bottom of the toilet depending on what style toilet you have and then placing that down over the bolts. Pressing it down, pressing that wax ring into place and then it comes with all new bolts on this particular style. This is the new Kohler uh, toilet and so it's got a weird way of hooking it into itself. So that's what I'm doing here, just putting all the fancy bolts down, making sure everything is snug and tight. And then once you get those two bolts down, just like you would if you put a toilet on, you're going to want to snug those down really well. Make sure that wax ring is really sealing. You won't really know until it's that it's leaking or not sealed until after you get the toilet installed and see it leak or see it not leak. So that's always the fun thing about doing toilets. But doing your due diligence at this part is very important. This new Kohler toilet style actually uses these fancy hold down bolts that I'm actually assembling here. And the bolts actually come in through the side of the toilet and basically hold it down. And really the, the back of the toilet really rests on this bracket here. And that's, what, that's where it drains through. I'll show you a little bit more in depth here as we go on into this video. And then once you get those set, you're gonna obviously wanna set your toilet down onto that making sure that the seat connects with the bracket assembly. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put your fancy bolts in from the side. Once you get those bolts in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure they're nice and snug so the toilet does not move. Once you got your toilet bowl installed, next step is to bring in the new toilet tank that came with the toilet. And with this, you're going to want to make sure all the bolts are in there and all the seals are in there and obviously put on your, uh, your tank bottom seal, which goes over the outlet port of the tank. Once you get that on there nice and firm and snug, you're going to want to go ahead and set your tank down. And you can see here, this one has three bolts instead of the, old, instead of the other one that only had two bolts. So you're going to want to make sure you get that one on the right, one on the left, and one in the back there. And you're just going to make those nice and snug so that the tank does not rock and obviously does not leak once it is filled.
When I'm usually done setting toilets, I like to set some sort of paper. In this case, I use the instructions. That seems to be what they're, uh, what they're good for the most. <laughs> uh, set it underneath the, the toilet and just flush it numerous times while I'm at this location. And then I can see if it is leaking or not. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this toilet here with the paper underneath it and keep flushing it periodically throughout the day and get started on our other toilet. When going back in with these new toilets, I actually had to uh, use a new water line, the new water lines that I had bought uh, just this morning, uh, because these old water lines are actually not long enough. So these old toilets are quite a bit shorter than the new toilets, so the old water lines just do not reach uh, the new toilet. So luckily I bought those new water lines and I was able to use those, so that worked out great. And here when you're using the Milwaukee wet dry vac, obviously I remove the uh, remove the air filter um, or the filter in the vacuum just because uh, that's what they say to do when you're sucking up water. Because uh, if you suck up drywall dust after you've sucked up water with a filter, you're just going to clog that filter up right away. So found that that works best. Check out this wax ring when I get this toilet off. This wax ring is a telltale sign of a wax ring that leaks. It looks like a hamburger before you flip it on a barbecue. Telltale sign of Check leaking. This now this one looks like it had a slow leak coming right here out of the front. You can see there's also a little bunch of little critters in here. It's pretty wet around the tile. It wasn't a big leak, but probably a little leak. Check this out, I wanted to show you guys, this is a weird setup. This is where the wax ring goes. And then this thing with this rubber gasket actually fits in right there on the bottom of the toilet. And then you bolt, you bolt the toilet to the flange with all this contraption. It'll come right through the center here, or right through the side here. Quite interesting. So I have flushed this toilet periodically about 20 times throughout the day. If it was leaking at all under there at the wax ring, this paper would be wet, at least have a little bit of moisture on it. Then there's these little fancy little covers that go over the bolt holes. Okay, some change of plans here. We are gonna let this toilet sit because it was, uh, it's pretty wet. Kind of if you can see here inside the, to inside the uh, tile, just underneath the tile really just because it had been leaking from before. She said she actually saw some water coming out of it a little bit. So we got this heater running to let this dry out. So we're gonna let this sit and come and replace it. Put the new toilet in a little bit later. All right, I got Brett Perkins back with us. Uh, I'm putting him to work though here. We're at the dump. We're gonna get rid of those toilets that I uh, took out this morning. So I got one of those toilets uh, installed and the other one, uh, we're letting it dry for a little while. I'll explain a little bit more of that afterward, after this, but uh, we're gonna use this break in the rain to get this stuff out of my truck, get into the dump. So let's do that. I got the truck all cleaned out got our hands dirty <laughs> so uh yeah thank you all so much for tuning in uh that job i did this morning was hourly so the first uh i was there for two hours this morning and then i'm gonna go back tomorrow at 1 30. i wanted she had as you as you saw there that was that there was that wax ring in the master bathroom that was leaking um and it was all wet underneath the tile uh, I talked with her, I'm like, I would like to let this sit for a few hours just to let everything dry out with a heater on it. Um, she unfortunately has a, an appointment this afternoon, so she couldn't meet up today, so she wants to wait till tomorrow afternoon, which is cool. So they have their guest bathroom that they can use, but they don't have a toilet in their master. So we're just leaving it like that until tomorrow, and I'm gonna go wrap it up there. So uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. So it's 180 bucks a day, and then tomorrow will probably be another hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on that. Just need to put that new toilet on. So uh, yeah, that's it. So now I'm gonna meet with Brett and I uh, got some uh, some office work to do. So anyways, thank you all so much for tuning into this vlog and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.